Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Learning. So I will be doing another um, kind of OSC experiment. Um, I'm using Blender here and we have Pisonic. So it's gonna be um, our another um, experiment to generate um, procedural sound. So I have this setup that's already working and hopefully this recording will, will be successful uh, because sometimes uh, I'm using old MacBook Pro and Sometimes this is too much for the processing power, so yeah, but seems to be working and basically what's going on here, Blender is, uh, inside Blender, I'm setting up um, this uh, script node inside animation nodes that's using um, Python Sonic module. So instead of using add OSC add-on, I'm using Python Sonic module and Python Sonic is a module um, that you can use to kind of trigger um, commands directly into Sonic Pi. All you need to do is to have Sonic Pi already working and then Python Sonic will actually run the commands. Um, and what's interesting is that with a Python, uh, with a, a Sonic Pi version 3.0 and up, you have this OSC and the OSC and then with a Python Sonic, you also uh, can kind of trigger uh, this OSC message uh, just by using Python. So I really like that kind of method. So here um, I have, if I just run this uh, eight frames, uh, you see it's it's actually a bit slow, but so I cannot run it in full uh, in full speed because I'm recording at the same time. And but anyhow, here I, I, I can generate um, noise based on animation nodes, um, white noise. Uh, white noise uh, is a part of a vector noise node. This is actually, I think, new in a animation node version 2.1. Maybe you don't have it yet. I don't know. Uh, I think it's coming soon. You have a bunch of noise uh, we can use, like Perlin, uh, but I like white noise. It seems to be generating sound that's uh, a little bit more interesting. Um, but anyhow, I'll I'll have to show you first uh, what's actually going on. Um, first of all, I have this Python code. So this one is actually from from Python Sonic module uh, website. So we have to run this first. This will generate um, some kind of a looping, like a live loop inside Sonic Pi using Python. So just run this, and then I'm running this one as well. So I have two, I have two instruments: the Prophet and the Pluck, like a, some kind of guitar. And based on this program, I am generating some kind of OSC message using Python Sonic, and which basically triggered using um, script node, so it's it's gonna be um, animation nodes um, script node. So here I have this very simple Python command, just a single line, basically sending message to Sonic Pi. This is the message trigger plug, and with the nodes cut off and sustain based on this value inside animation nodes. So Py, uh, Sonic Pi is running, and we have Blender, and I have this uh, basically a way to generate sound per frame. So I shouldn't go over, I think I should only use within the frame. And Well, if I'm not recording, this is actually like in real time. Uh, Susan Head is there just to kind of visualize the frequency here. You can also see this number down there. So I need to like a better way to do this, but like kind of randomizing the frequency for for the two instruments. So at this point, it's like. Um, you can imagine like Blender talking to Sonic Pi and just triggering instruments. But what will be interesting is that 
if uh, since this is like OSC message between two kind of machines or like uh, artificial artificial intelligence it, it's not so intelligent but anyhow it's kind of like talking to each other if we set up like some kind of program that can give like a looping feedback you know like blender talks to sonic pi and then when sonic pi get triggered to make sound it goes back to blender and then kind of triggering another actions and then try to see what's going on i mean it's probably not like a um depend on depends on how you set it up maybe it's uh, it maybe can be interesting to have that kind of a uh, looping um, dialogue between the two uh, for now this is just like a very simple setup it's just like blender generating some values frequency and then based on the frame it picks it's gonna pick this number from the list and then use it as the frequency for for the the sound I think if I don't go too fast like make it one frame per second it will generate sound normally like yeah it's probably getting slow I shouldn't do that maybe I stop it and kind of pause the recording but that's pretty much it for this live noting um, I'm probably gonna give you this blend files and uh, yeah I think you can try it yourself uh, thanks again for tuning in I'll see you next time thanks